Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Xenosaga Episode 3. Last time, we defeated Citrine in a very long, far more difficult boss fight than it really should have been. Uh, I would not recommend the party that I brought there. You're probably better off bringing Momo and pounding her up with a lot more uh, break limit and then have uh, probably Ziggy as a tank and him tank all of the damage. He can spend the entire fight broken if you want, as long as you have someone else there to dish out a lot of damage. And uh, again, uh, Jin's probably a good choice for it. He does quite a bit of damage. Just make sure you have uh, kind of a better strategy set up than I did. I really didn't plan that out very well. I, I had a better plat uh, strategy than you saw, it just, Citrine would not cooperate, not the way she did in my testing, so. Anyway, why were we born? I don't know, that's For the meaning of life. reason do we exist? Also the meaning of Answer life. Answer me, Rubido. I don't think you know. You betrayed knows. your comrades, you killed your brother. Why are you still alive? To keep my promise. Your promise? Yes. The reason I exist is to keep the promise I made. Which You're still one? haunted by that woman's shadow. I pity you. Citrine! They're referring to the promise he made to Sakura, though he's made a bunch of other promises to Momo and to Yuli since then, so... What could that alarm be? That bastard! Problems. He activated the emulators! Of course he did! He's insane, we know this. So, they disposed of Citrine. What is it? Oh, I see. You're sad. You had a connection to that unit. But that's nothing more than an illusion. He's talking you to Negredo. You see, you're nothing more than one of my parts. You don't need any meaningless emotions. Anything more is completely unnecessary. Then you should have used androids. Behold this glorious picture. Or realians. will begin. My Not time of victory against his terror has finally come. <laughs> you filthy bastard! Stop the emulators now! Is that you, Rubido? It's been a long time, hasn't it? I must say I've missed you. Listen, we both know what'll happen if you even think about touching those. Give back Garnet's body and get the hell out of here! Oh, I am so disappointed in you, Rubido. Of course. This circumstance. Is your fault entirely. There's no one else to blame but yourself, and I'm afraid I've been forced to take matters into my own hands. But those aren't even your hands Since anymore. Those incomplete units failed their mission 15 years ago. My fault? Oh, yeah? Are you planning on using the emulators in Omega to destroy Udu? No, no, it isn't that sort of thing. Nothing can ever destroy Udu. It's basically gone. I guess gone. you really don't understand the reasons why I am here. All right, then, fine. Why are you here? In ancient times, people used to be together with God. People loved God, revered, and even feared God. Out of fear of the undying God, they sought divine power. This was a way for the ancients to resist him. Eventually, they found a method to become gods themselves. What? We have revived the relics, the Merkaba and the Zohar emulators, as well as Mizrahi's Y data, which holds the records left behind by the ancients. This holds the instructions so that we may become gods once again. You see, Udu is a god of this dimension. If in fact God cannot be destroyed, then we shall be the ones to become gods ourselves. And there goes the shutoff. Farewell, my son. I must go now. Remember your great father. Would have been funny if that blocked the door on him. <laughs> but yeah, he, he's a little bit insane. Momo, can we stop the emulators? And by a little no, bit, I mean can't. completely. The controls are destroyed. There's no way to stop them. I mentioned it once or twice before, but... The ship is moving! The Durandal's beginning to turn. That means it's heading for the Ark. Damn it! Momo's the voice acting... The ship and the emulators right into the Ark! ...is no. a lot better in this Cruise game. the dock and escape. It's gonna be rough, but we don't have any choice. Let's go! 
considering that it's the same voice actress from episode two where it was just so bad. I'm sure a lot of that had to do with just those filters they seem to put on everyone's voice in that game, but... As you can see... It's no good, little master! The remote control isn't working! We're in a bad way we at this point. can't perform it from here! Then we'll just have to do it by hand! That's insane! A regular person would be caught up in the explosion caused by the purge! Hey, there's someone outside! Let me guess, it's Cosmos. It's always it's Cosmos! Chaos and Cosmos! Of course, what Chaos is, is there too, but... Every time it's been like this, we can't figure something out. Eh, it's Cosmo. She's outside. She'll fix it. Tony, come on! Break through now! Yeah, yeah, got it! Well, looks like that did whatever they were trying to do. And Omega's just standing there like an idiot. I don't like what's going on here. Of course, I also don't know what's going on here. But a uh, Gnosis that size doing that much damage should not happen. Wait a minute. Are you inside the Gnosis? No. How? Let's begin. Restore what was once rightfully mine. What was rightfully yours? You're talking about becoming a god. How was that ever rightfully yours? And there's the original. Or that's the original. I don't know, the one that was in there was the, the shitty replica made by Sellers. Never mind. That's the original. Abel. Looks like they basically got the power of a god. Joy! It makes the she the machine capable of a lot of power. What? But it doesn't make you god, Dimitri. What exactly just happened? It's a lot of cool, nice-looking animation, but I don't really understand what's going on. Detecting an enormous gravity deviation from inside. It is not a gnosis. It is likely caused by surplus energy leaking from Omega after absorbing the Zohar. It's an astounding amount of energy. Probably a bad thing. colossal magnitude. I guess his talk of joining the rank of gods may not have been a bluff. No, it doesn't Does seem so. Does he really intend on becoming a god? Wilhelm. Kevin. Omega's awakening is confirmed. So it would seem. For the shift to the higher dimension, Uriev will likely attempt to absorb Zarathustra. This may cause some effect on the system. What system? That is not the only function of Zarathustra. The measures I've taken are not recorded in the Y data. The information Wait. he obtained oh. is incomplete. Why would something you, like, measures you've taken be recorded in the Y data? The, this Y data, we still don't know a whole lot about it. it seems to be something maybe created by your, or, um, uh, Yoki Mizrahi that encounters evidence from as far back as Lost Jerusalem, but we don't know entirely what it all holds. Everybody else does, but we don't. Not as the viewer, anyway. Let us watch over the proceedings. He's a truly fascinating human being. Yuri In order to conquer his fear, he chooses to absorb that fear and become that fear himself. Shall we send Albedo for the retrieval? <laughs> he wants to go, doesn't he? It's what he's always desired. It will also work out well for the awakening of the vessels of Anima. It will take a little more time before she awakens. In the meantime, Let's enjoy the entertainment. Morgulus, what is it? 
Okay. I talked about this a while ago, about uh, Heinlein's voice actor kind of sounding lazy and just not seeming to fit this mythical uh, uh, figure that we never seem to see. Well, now we... If, if it's the scene I think it is, we're st going to start to learn a little more about it. Your Eminence, our fleet has already sunk 70% of the Federation fleet. All that remains is to await your order. Give us the order to attack the Ark. Bargulus, I don't even recall giving you an order to move the fleet. Why should we stand by and watch while the original Zohar is right before our eyes? Dmitry Yuryev has already taken action. We can't just hand it over without any protest. Know your place, Margulis. Just follow my orders. Seems that his orders are something that serves himself, but doesn't seem to be serving this Ormus religion that everyone seems to be a part of. Well, these guys seem to be a part of. But... Margula seems to be very fanatical in his uh, religious beliefs here, and it seems that as much as he's uh, motivated and focused on this belief, it seems to be in contradiction with the higher-ups within the faith. That is all, Margulis. You are not permitted to touch the Ark. Pull back the fleet and leave Mictum. Your Eminence. Well, this wasn't the one I was expecting. There's a, another cutscene later. Or is it this one? It might be this one. I'm not what sure. What does this mean? Is he saying to give up on the Zohar? I don't know. But don't you feel as if something has been out of place? Ever since Ren Le Chateau appeared? Everything's been weird. We are no longer acting for our own objectives, but for some other will. Basically what I was talking about before, just said a lot more eloquently by uh, Margulis. Are you insinuating that his eminence is betraying Ormus? Such insolence will not be forgiven. Even for you, Chief Inquisitor. I am aware of that, but still... Yeah, that wasn't the cutscene I was uh, expecting. No, it to we be. have to do something. But just how are we supposed to get close to that thing? We don't even know the enemy's location. What part do you want me to stick this ship in? Uh, run away. How about you stop talking and use your heads a little? They don't have heads, Kanan. We should realize this. Indeed. Got all these people here, and yet none of them are useful. Speaking of someone being useful, where the hell have you been all this game? We saw you at the start, and then you completely disappeared, and just never reappeared again. It's kind of weird that she just pops out of the blue, claiming that no one's useful when she hasn't done anything all game. Doctus, why are you... who's that? She's an extremely skilled Scantia agent. Oh, is that you, Jin? the same enigmatic expression on your face you always do. Of course. And I see you haven't changed either. It's rather unusual for you to show your face here. I contacted her. What? Why would you contact someone like her? My, are you sure you want to be that rude to me? You'll regret it later. Yes, you will. She has a plan that can solve our current dilemma. That's why I called her. If she had a plan to solve it, how did you know that to call her? I'm not, I'm not very understanding about what you're doing here. <laughs> what plan? A way to get inside that thing. That would be a good start. It's simple. You just need to gate out inside of it. That way you can infiltrate it and no one can stop you. Wait, what? A short jump within the same signal? Can that be done at this short a range? If it's us, yes. Even if we do that, we don't know where Dad is. You should be able to tell where Guinan is. Right, you are TV. Even she seems to already know. Either that or Kanan revealed it after we found out. But, uh, yeah. Either that or she knew it all along due to special hacking things behind the scenes, spying on everyone. She's an anti-UMN agent, right? So she should be able to know everything, I guess that's the idea they're trying to get across. <gasps> I gave my gift to that Realian. The rest is up to you. Don't disappoint me now. And now I'm gone. And she doesn't show up for Momo, quite some time again, if I remember this. correctly. 
Yeah, she doesn't play a huge role in this game. This is the gate out interference program that Skiantia uses. With this, we can ignore the signal and dive out by force. Well, isn't she clever? So we use this to get dead, huh? Yeah, basically all of this, uh, I don't think you really need to understand it. It's just science fiction, Star Trek, mumbo jumbo. Okay, Hammer, replace the gate jump program. We don't have much time. Get it ready now! Yeah, long series of cutscenes, which is why we didn't tack it on to the end of the last episode. Anyway, with that being said, we can now start talking to everybody else. Everyone seems to be accumulated here on the ship now, or on the Elsa, since the Drandal is basically no more. And I think, I think Yuri's floating around here somewhere. I'm sure he did. He disappeared looking stressed. That should tell us we need to go look around the ship here. Uh, we basically need to go and talk to a bunch of people. I don't think we need to as far as uh, proceeding with the plot. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, you have to kind of go underneath him in order to see that. We can head out at any time. So again, we have to talk to uh, Matthews in order to move forward. But I am going to go and talk to a few people on this ship. But first, save. Okay, we're back. Now, I was going to go and explore everywhere and talk to everyone, but uh, other than there being a new droid in the eggs hangar as well, or I guess it's an Ames hangar now, uh, as well as three uh, orange jumpsuit random worker guys that I guess we picked up from the Durandal, uh, there's nobody else new. Kanan has actually disappeared from the ship. I was remembering a cutscene with him, but I guess that comes through the time, you know, it, it gets hit automatically not uh, something you have to go seek out on your own. Okay now, uh, let's see here. There should be, yeah, there's some new equipment that we can buy at this point. Uh, this one, I would not recommend for Xion. It's not, it's barely better in terms of damage, but it's just not worthwhile. Again, this one, you might want to consider it, but I'm gonna stick with what I have for the moment. And that one is better. As you can see, I have a lot of money, and the reason why I'm not going to spend most of it is because after the next dungeon, we have to a lot of money to spend, and it's going to disappear very fast. I'm going to use over 50% of it on one item, so yeah. This one is finally better than Cosmos's item that she got right before we let, lost her on disc one. So like, maybe six, eight hours into the game, we finally got a weapon better than that. And it's a lot better, so we're definitely going to buy that one. And we got one for Chaos, which is better. One for Junior, which is better. Now, as far as uh, this stuff goes, I would probably outfit everyone with this stuff. Um, you're only going through one dungeon, but uh, the enemies there are rather powerful, so let's uh, just outfit everybody. Uh, Jin, do we want to outfit Jin? Yeah, we lose a little bit of strength, but everything else jumps up quite a bit, so we'll do that one. Uh, I think we get an armor for... Oh, bugger. I should have got this one. Yeah, I bought the one with evade when I wanted the one for strength. I always do that, too. <laughs> now, here you can see for... Uh, Ziggy, we have either 20 strength or 90 block or break limit. I'm going to go for the strength one because I like strength. But if you want to go more with the break limit, you can do that too. Uh, Cosmoses, I'm not going to upgrade hers. The other one that we have is still better. Uh, the Vector Cross is an interesting one because it's definitely better for uh, Chaos. Oops. But uh, I do not like the system. <laughs> I really wish they had a better system for buying items through the uh, inventory there. Now, technically, this is better for Junior, and I'm probably going to buy one for him anyway. In fact, I, I will. But we do get a new armor for him shortly after. It's just not based on strength. It's more around evade and such like that. Here we got some more EP. If you want to start giving people more EP, I'll buy that on a case-by-case -case basis if I need it. This, the Eagle Eye, is the ultimate in, uh, you know, display data. So we're just going to go and buy one of those right now. 
Most of that stuff is fine. You can get double your defenses versus uh, mechanical for 300,000. You can get double versus biological for 300,000. Yeah, as you can see, you can waste a lot of money in this game, and this is nowhere close to the end of it. There is so much stuff you can buy in this game. Money is something that, like, uh, in my test run, I did a bunch of extra grinding, and even at, say, I think I was, like, level 78 or something like that, you can still use more money and you're going to annihilate everyone already, but you still need more money because you can still do more stuff with it. So it's just, it's kind of interesting. There's just a lot that you can do. Here we get more items that I don't want or need. Um, why do you have these things? Very few enemies use them on me, and I just don't care. I'd rather protect myself against elements, and I don't even care to do that unless I actually need to. There just really isn't all that many good things that we can put on. Eventually, I'll probably buy some of those things, but I think I get something better than that later on anyway. Here, we can increase our counter and null enemy counter. Increase our revenge, null enemy revenge. Increase our counter and our revenge. And we get other such items like this anyway. But for the rings, for the most part, um, I'm not going to bother. I, I need the additional break limit at this point. Unless you're spamming Urtikaiser all the time, Break limit is just so valuable and you need a higher break limit than you really have. Pretty much slap a hundred additional onto everyone to kind of make things balance out a little more, in my opinion. But anyway, we can also buy some more ES stuff. So um, what do I have for those? I think I have fives equipped, if I remember correctly. No, I want to be, there we go. So yeah, so let's buy three of those. Now, stop that. Should be some new stuff, good stuff here. Okay, these take five slots, but they are basically invaluable going forward. So I'm gonna buy three of all of them, uh, except for the beam one, because I'm gonna find one of those. So I'm only gonna buy two of those. And we also got the clean, so I want up to three of those. Those are really good. And don't need that. And charge plus. You don't realize how good this is yet. So let's buy three of those. Uh, revenge plus. Don't really care for that one, but uh, it's there if you want it. And so we have 80s here, which means the one that we got before that was 75 has become obsolete already, but oh well. There we go, and so we can upgrade one of you. As you can see for the uh, Zebulon, we finally start to get her an upgrade. You know, we got 29 here, and we finally got a decent enough upgrade to 27, so she's not that far behind. So make sure you buy the right one there. Buy that one. You can buy that for gins if you want, but that's fine. I'm not going to use gins for quite some time if I do at all. Let's see probably buy that even though I won't use it. Tempest GP. Basically Tempest, but better. I will be using that one. Uh, this one is Fire Elemental. It uses more uh, energy, so I don't tend to do... Oh, excuse me. I don't tend to do this one because it's just not as worthwhile, but I'm going to buy it anyway. I tend to use the Tempest GPs. Eventually you can get up to 900, and you can just use three of them in a round, so that's great. And what else do we have here? We got two more. Let's see, this one's got mine down. 380. This one's 450 for a giant bazooka. That one, I think I remember using that one a lot, but not yet. I'll probably end up using this one for the moment just because I could only use that once, and I can now use this twice in one round. And here we go for the last one there. We've got a better main weapon for you. And let's see, uh, that's Lightning Elemental. There's an Arid Plus, and this is an Arid 2. Now, this one's 450, this one's 300. I'm gonna buy one of each. And we finally got an upgrade for the, uh, for that one. I can't remember the name of that mech off the top of my head because my brain's not working at the moment. And then here, I'm going to buy that one. 
and I'm I think I'm actually gonna buy the new moon as well because I will eventually want to use it. And I think that might be one of his better ones now this one I don't recommend but if you're going to use uh, sub weapons with Zebulon then you're gonna want this so just kind of a side piece as you can see I've already spent like over a hundred thousand so you're gonna want to be able to get a good amount of money going and because even now like I'm gonna basically spend almost all of this in one go once we get to the next chapter so we're gonna have to do some money farming at some point but anyway I got a whole whack ton of stuff there I'll probably work on some of these guys in the meantime uh, do note that uh, Haycox the uh, final level that gets unlocked by uh, progressing through the plot is upgraded now completing it will get you juniors ultimate weapon yes there are ultimate weapons in this game and so I would recommend you do that if you're doing Haycox at all. If you're not, then you can skip it. Uh, once you finish all of the levels of Haycox save, or well, all of them that you, are open to you up to this one, then they'll unlock the final one for you. And it is ridiculously annoying and it takes forever, but you get really good items for it. So assuming I have time, I should be able to bring that one to you next time we... Uh, start up the LP which hopefully is tomorrow hopefully there's a reason why I'm hopefully on that and by the time you see this episode you'll know why but anyway that's all for this one and I'll see you guys next time